The acts in this video you are about to watch are dangerous. Unless you are an experienced diver, you are not able to fully understand the complexity and risks involved. Please do not try any of this yourself.
Okay, everybody, this is a recap from my trip with the sea scooter underneath a diving board. Here's what we have. We have 91 pennies. We have 44 dimes. We have 33 nickels. We have 44 quarters. 212 coins with a grand total of $17.96. We got five pairs of sunglasses, some hair stuff, piece of glass, child's toy. This is not a uh, military dog tag, it's something from a dot com. This uh, chain wouldn't have broke if it was military. Some sort of a brass pin. I'm not sure what that's for. It's really heavy. Um, earrings. These are pretty much costume, except this one's silver. Three keys. They look like they, well, this looks like a house key. Some kids uh, lost the key to their bike, I'm thinking. All right, this is an interesting piece. It's a uh, Catholic metal here. It has a slide that opens up in the back, and in the back of it is an inscription. Let's see if I can't clean that up for you and put a picture in. All right, these were the uh, posts, well, the stones that I was finding. Two of these are good. This one's gold. I don't believe the diamonds are real. It is white gold. And this one is white gold. And that stone, I believe, is real. This is everybody's favorite, I think. I think these beads are tungsten. They're real heavy. They got that look to them. Some handcrafted macrame. necklace and this is the one I was really curious about it is pretty heavy I was trying to figure out how heavy it was under the water if it could be gold it was shining but I think it's just a uh, costume jewelry it's stainless steel it is what it is would have been a really good find if it was gold but necklaces bracelets stuff like that are common earrings these are common things to find underneath a diving board all right be safe out there. Thanks for watching.